folks, thanks for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we are going to be doing a special rock. Uh, this one is for Father's Day. So I don't know about you, but my Father's Day brings back really awesome memories about my stepdad. I have my natural father as well. Um, so I'm one of the lucky ones that gets to have two dads in her life. Um, but in this particular instance, I'm doing it for my stepdad. He passed away. Um, and this is just one of the memories that I have with him. We used to always go fishing together. So I thought, let's do a rock with a father daughter sitting on the edge of a dock fishing. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. So I started off with using my general's charcoal pencil and I drew a circle with my compass and I sketched on just ever so haphazardly, I guess, like just an idea as to where I want things to go. I don't necessarily follow it. If you've watched any of my tutorials before, you know that I may put down a guideline or two and I rarely follow them, but it's just to give me an idea as to where I want things to go. So I want this to be like a sunset. So you're finishing off your day with uh, throwing a line in the water and see what you can catch maybe for dinner. So I'm doing up a sunset using some yellows and oranges and some reds just to give me that um, sunset look. Now the colors that I use are listed in the description below, including the brand that I used. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to use the same ones. Whatever you have in your stash, please feel free to go ahead, use those, blend them together. You can use uh, the sponges like what I'm using. Uh, there's a link in the description below for that. I got them off of Amazon. Or you can use whatever you have. Makeup sponges work very well. Um, if you have a blending brush, any of that kind of stuff will work. Just whatever you have. Like you don't have to rush out to the store or hop on Amazon and fill up your cart. So just uh, do what you've got um, available. Use that and you'll be good to go. So I've got basically what I want for my sunset. I will be uh, finicking around with it a little bit later, but um, I definitely wanted to get this dock on there. So I'm just using a darker brown. I think it was maple brown. I'm not 100% sure, but check my description below for the exact colors and, and brands that I used. Um, so then I just sponged it on so it's like nice and even instead of having brush strokes in it. And then now what I'm doing is I'm outlining the dock and I'm going to be putting on some posts and things like that uh, just to give it a little bit more of a realistic kind of look. What I'm doing here is just to clean up some of those thick brush strokes that I had with my little blending brush and making sure that I have paint everywhere that I need the paint and not where I don't want the paint. So I just go ahead with my little blending brush there and now I'm putting in the posts. Now they're a little bit more defined so I don't bother with my blending brush or any of the sponges because I want them to really stand out. And uh, nothing says that it's a dock than having these posts that are in the water. So I uh, put those in and later on I will be doing some shading and some good stuff for that. Uh, and you'll see all of that in this tutorial. Um, now just a, a little background um, with fishing. Uh, my stepdad and I used to do a lot of fishing together where we would go into some tournaments or uh, just, you know, early morning out we go or in the evening we'd go. I remember one time um, I was about 10 years old and I caught a fish in a fishing derby and um, it happened to be a tagged fish. So if you don't know what that means, it just means that they put like a little uh, color tag on the top fin just so that they can identify that it's, you know, a, a tagged fish and it's for a specific prize. Well, I won a fishing rod and reel. And to this day, I still fish with the same rod. Not the reel, however, I broke that last year, but... Um, I do have um, the original rod and it's my good luck charm. So 
Uh, definitely was a fun time, something I'll remember forever. Uh, and I've got the rod to prove it. If you like this video, let me know by giving me the thumbs up. And if you like it and you want to subscribe, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss anything for when I post, hit that bell because it'll send you notifications every time I post a new video. Now I'm putting on the horizon. So where the water stops and land starts and then you have the sky and then you have the reflection on the sky. But this horizon is very far away. So I'm just very quickly putting on little trees. And here's a close up to show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm just using my fine lining brush and putting paint on the top and I'm putting it on the black line that I painted on and pushing up very quickly. And it gives these little sprigs that look like trees way off in the distance. So I do that all the way along the horizon line. And then I also do um, put in a little bit of an inlet, uh, that piece of land that juts out and around. Uh, you'll see that very shortly, but you can also see right now uh, all of the detail that I put into the dock. So I added extra uh, lines because wood grains on a dock, you can kind of see them. So I uh, wanted to make sure that that was captured and had a bit of a glow from the sunset. So I did that and now you can see I'm just making that uh, horizon line a little bit thicker and now I'm just adding those uh, little pieces of land that jut out. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of an island or uh, maybe that's where uh, a river flows into this lake that we're sitting on. Um, not exactly sure, but I just I wanted just to break it up a little bit. So all of a sudden there's a bunch of white marks on my rock here and that's OK. So what I did was I used my charcoal um, pencil and I drew on again just where I thought I wanted things uh, as a guide and now I'm just painting them on with black paint. So I put on some bulrushes or some people know them as cattails uh, and I throw in some leaves and things like that just on the shoreline of where the dock begins um, and I do that on both sides. Uh, I've also got my silhouette people, so father and daughter, sitting at the end of the dock. Now, I've I am not good at people. I can't, I cannot. Tr <laughs> I try so hard to paint people, and I just I can't do it. Um, they always end up looking cartoony or disproportionate, uh, and it's just not something I'm good at. But that's okay. You don't have to be good at absolutely everything. And when you're painting, this is your rendition. This is your interpretation. Has nothing to do with the correctness. It's how you are perceiving things and how you take that from your mind's eye and put it onto your working surface. So whether it be canvas or a rock or wood or even just drawing on a piece of paper. This is all you. You don't have to make it perfect because then it's like a machine has done it. And we don't want this to be like a machine. This is who you are. So having said that, this is who I am. I'm not very good at doing people. I prefer doing them in silhouette because then I don't have to put a lot of detail into them. However, I still make mistakes and this one has one, but it's okay. I'm not too upset about it. Um, it's what happens and you just go with the flow, just live with it and know that it's there for a reason because you put it there. So, and most people don't even notice the mistakes and you as being an artist are your biggest critic. So just remember that it may not look perfect to you, but it may look perfect to somebody else. So don't try to go for perfection. Definitely. Um, Many years I tried, I used to draw everything out using rulers and measurements and it never turned out right. The moment I put that ruler away, things worked better. So again, just go with the flow. Uh, be happy with what you're, you're doing and know that somebody else is going to absolutely love it. 
So here I am, I'm putting on uh, those silhouette people that um, this is the, the dad that I'm doing and I'm putting on his fishing hat there uh, that ended up being too big for his head. So I had to make his head a little bit bigger. And again, it's disproportionate. Disportion <laughs> How do you say that word? No, um, basically it's his head's too big for his body. Uh, but I fix it up and I make it work and it looks great. When your eye looks at the whole picture, you don't even notice it. So he's just got a, a huge hat on and we'll go with that. So I uh, put in the uh, fishing rods and of course one of them has to have caught a fish and it's got to be the daughter because, you know, dad's been fishing for a long time let's let the daughter have some fun so she's the one that catches the fish and his line is still out there and you can tell that I didn't follow the guideline at all but that's okay because this charcoal general's part or general's charcoal pencil just wipes off once you let the paint dry it wipes off really easy so don't worry about if you don't follow the guidelines as long as you use this or um, lightly use a pencil so it can erase off but doesn't put indents into your paint, you're good to go. So here I am, I'm just, uh, you know, doing some touch-ups and I uh, got to put some arms on these people so they're holding their rods. Uh, I even uh, painted on a little tackle box, which is hard to see, but it's there. Um, I just enjoyed doing this so much. Like, it's just, it's so pretty. And it just brings back so many good memories that I have. And I hope it does for you as well. I mean, it's just, it's great, uh, great memories and I get to put it onto a rock. Um, just, I love it. And again, I love sunsets. So doing a sunset with all the silhouettes and everything, and I love mother nature. This just wraps everything that I love all into one. Let me know in the comments below about a favorite memory you have of your dad or your stepdad. Maybe it's an uncle or a grandfather. Um, whatever it is, I would love to hear about uh, a favorite story or a favorite moment that you have uh, with that man in your life uh, that um, helped with your upbringing or uh, was there to make life fun. I'd love to hear about it. Now I'm just doing a few little uh, final touches, um, doing some darks and some lights, uh, especially on the dock, uh, just to give it some more um, depth and definition on um, the appearance of the dock being pushed out into the water. And so I just use a little bit of uh, darker brown and I also use some lighter brown uh, to give the differences of light and dark. I also do some uh, light, uh, I guess, reflections off on the trees and on the bulrushes or cattails, whatever you prefer, uh, just to give them that little extra definition. I forgot to mention that I am painting this on a art stone that I made by um, purchasing a mold that I got from the Happy Dotting Company. I have left a link in the description below. Definitely go check out her Etsy shop. She's got so many different molds that you can use and they're very sturdy, long life. It's, they're awesome. So definitely go and check that out. And even though I don't have any dots on this, I do a lot of dotting and my favorite dotting tools came from the Dotting Center. And again, there's a link in the description below for that and a 10% discount if you use that. So definitely um, check out the, my description and head on over to those links. I clean up the edges with uh, black, just a border around the entire painting, and then it just needs a coat of resin. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it, so get creative. Mm -hmm.